Why is it that so many people are so quick to share bad news but reluctant to share good news? Why does it seem more popular to spread negativity rather than positivity? You know, we see it every day. And sure, we can blame it on the media or entertainment industry or whatever, but ultimately, we are responsible for what comes out of our mouths or for what we put on social media. Matthew 12 has some great insight on why we say and do the things we do. But there's one verse in particular that my mom used to say that I will never forget. And it's found in Matthew 12, verse 34. It says, out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth speaks. Now, as a kid, I never got this. It was just one of those things my mom used to say when I would say something stupid or negative or hurtful. My mom was always quoting scripture to me, sometimes to the point that it would just kind of involuntarily evoke that awful eye roll, shoulder shrug, deep breath combo that teens are so good at. I just didn't get it. And even at a young age, I knew that my mom was a Christian and I knew that she loved the Lord, but I didn't connect the dots until I got much older. You see, the very reason my mom would quote this verse to me was because she was living it out. My mom to this day lives and breathes the word of God on a level that I can only hope to live up to. And it's because of her love for the Lord and her constant study of his word that she's so quick to share that with others. You know, one of the other things that I love to share with people about my mom is that she used to pray to get a parking space close to the door whenever we would go to the grocery store. And as a teenager, I remember thinking, mom, God doesn't care about your parking space. She, he doesn't care if you get a space close to the door. But then I would hear her exclaim one of her favorite phrases, thank you, Jesus, as she pulled into a parking spot close to the door. But it didn't end there. I would hear her encouraging someone that day or even days later, and I would hear her say, you know, it's just like when I was at the grocery store and I prayed that I would get a good parking space and God gave it to me. It seemed like she would tell anyone and everyone that would listen that God blessed her with a parking space. And still, I would shake my head and think my mom is nuts. But years later, as I was studying scripture, I came across Psalms 105 verse one. And it says, give thanks to the Lord and proclaim his greatness. Let the whole world know what he has done. And that day, I finally got it. And I called her up and I thanked her and I said, I finally understand why God would give you the parking space. It wasn't just for you to be close to the building on a rainy day. It was because of what you would do with that answer to prayer. You would tell everyone. You would use that to encourage people who were struggling in their faith. And God knew that was your heart and what you would do with that blessing. I get it now. So if you're struggling with negativity or depression, or you just seem to always find it hard to stay happy and positive, I want to encourage you today. Write the words of God on your heart. Surround yourself with scripture. Thank God for everything and never stop sharing the blessings that he has given you, even if it's just a parking space.